<laughs> Hi, my name is Andrew Brait. I'm one of the owners of Full Belly Farm. Um, we are a 400 acre organic uh, farm operation in the beautiful Cape Valley, which is out by western Yolo County. I'm a first generation farmer. People ask me, how did I become a farmer? And um, I kind of had this crazy notion come into my head when I was about 14 years old that said I wanted to farm. I wanted to grow all my own food. I wanted to be more self-reliant. And of course, those, those are the things that have come to pass. This is our 32nd year being certified organic. For me, um, it was never any other consideration. From the get-go, I got into farming because I was interested in growing food organically without using materials that, that would compromise personal and sort of environmental health. I'm really very focused on, on soil health in particular. But I think soil right here, something that we um, walk on every day, something that is actually the, the basis of, of all life, this is an unknown universe. Um, farming is, is a, pretty, a pretty precarious vocation. Sometimes the biggest challenge is um, what's right there in front of us. Summer, we call it, we call it a marathon. It's uh, four months of 100 degree weather. And we generally work um, six, 10 hour days a week. And in the summer, it's more. When I come to farmer's market, uh, we'll get up at 2.30 in the morning leave the farm about 3 3:15 or so get down here set up and hopefully in a few hours of the market sell all our wares and we'll get back around late afternoon dinner time and we'll call it a day and then wake up again the next morning and it just goes day after day and then there's sort of a much bigger a bigger um, challenge which is how do you not only do what you do on a daily basis, but how do you continue to do that for the next, you know, for the remainder of your lifetime? And set the stage so that the next generation that follows you have the same opportunities and more than, than you had. I try to steal moments away and say, how does this all fit into a much bigger context? We choose, or sometimes we're chosen, to do what we do because of other things than just economics. I'm, I'm inspired by, by people who, who, who dedicate their lives to, to their call. And from the, the first interaction I had with Judy, that was my, my impression, was that here's someone who heard a call um, to, do, to do the work that she does. There's a lot of ways that, that people dedicate their lives to helping others, um, and she's she's chosen she's chosen one path. Um, I think that 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 I've chosen a different path, um, but in many ways we have our compasses pointed in the same direction, and that sends me home um, every week with um, the sense of responsibility that I'm tied into something much greater than just just my own operation.